My friends, I welcome you here to Mass at St. George Church as we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We ask that the Lord will show us his continued mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of always pondering on what is right and of hastening to carry it out. And since without you we cannot exist, may we be enabled to live according to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther, seized with mortal anguish, had recourse to the Lord. She lay prostrate upon the ground together with her handmaids from morning until evening and said, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, blessed are you. Help me who am alone and have no help but you for I am taking my life in my hand. As a child, I used to hear from the books of my forefathers that you, O Lord, always free those who are pleasing to you. Now help me who am alone and have no one but you, O Lord, my God. And now come to help me, an orphan. Put in my mouth persuasive words in the presence of the lion and turn his heart to hatred for our enemy, so that he and those who are in league with him may perish. Save us from the hand of our enemies. Turn our mourning into gladness and our sorrows into wholeness. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on the day I called for help, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, on the day I call for help, you answered me. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, on the day I call for help, you answered me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. To the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he has asked for a loaf of bread, or a snake when he asked for a fish? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, 
how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? Do to others whatever you, what you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, if you're unfamiliar with her, someone who you really want to know is Queen Esther that we heard about in the first reading. She was a magnificent woman. She was a Jewish woman who um, was taken as a wife uh, by a Gentile king, one of his many wives. But he, but he had Esther as his favorite wife. He really, truly loved her. But one of his henchmen uh, was, had put out a decree that all the Jews in the country should be wiped out. And so Esther, being a Jew herself, although her husband doesn't know it, needs to approach the king to ask that he would change this uh, order that had gone out. Now the thing is, at that time, no one approached the king. If the king called you, you could come in, but you wouldn't go and approach him. So she's really putting her life in her hands as she has put in a request to see her husband, the king. And so that's why she's saying in this prayer today, you know, help me, my life is in your hands because the king might kill me, which is, wasn't uncommon. So she's able to petition the king so that her people could be saved. She does save the day, just so you know, in case you don't know how the end of the story goes. But contrast that to what it's like when we approach God. Esther couldn't approach her own husband, the king. We can approach our God, the creator of all things. We have the opportunity to open our hearts, to hear, hear God's word speaking to us, but also for God to hear us, to hear us out, to hear us out in our need, to hear the things that are deepest in our hearts, the biggest concerns that we have, the worries that we have, the things that we hope for, the things that we dream of, the things that worry us, all these things, we have instant access to our God through prayer. It's a wonderful, beautiful contrast that the two stories give us today. One who feels her life is in peril if she approaches the one who can help, we who know that our life is in peril if we don't approach the one who can help. So I think we should do that. Let's stand together and offer our prayers. That we may always recognize the power of prayer in our lives and that God always hears us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those uh, times when we sometimes feel discouraged, when we don't believe that our prayers have been answered, we ask that God will give us the strength to watch as his plan unfolds for us. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That God will watch over all those who are in special need today, for the cold, the lonely, for those who are affected by war and violence in the Ukraine and in our own community. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all women who live in fear in their own homes that they may be watched over and blessed and protected. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick in need of God's healing and for those who have died, that they may rejoice with all the angels and saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our Mass intentions today, for John Mayer, for Daniel DiSabato, and for Baby Riley, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all peace and goodness, during these Lenten days, we ask that you bless our prayer, our fasting, and almsgiving. Help us, Lord, so that we may always turn to you in our need and recognize that you are at our side in all times and in all things. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread and wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual food and drink. And blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, our loving Father. Amen. O Lord, be merciful to those who approach you in supplication. In accepting the oblations and prayers of your people, turn the hearts of us all towards you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I also want to mention, uh, I guess that you keep in prayer uh, a, a person who died uh, in our parish, Joan Brennan, who is the mother of Mary Beth Kelly. So please keep Joan in your prayers. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and glorious resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, with priests, deacons, religious men and women, seminarians, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember our brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, St. George, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
Amen. Together we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, you say to each of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer one another a sign of Christ's love and peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I invite the folks at home now to make an act of spiritual communion, asking that God's grace may come into your hearts this day.
Let us pray. O Lord our God, we pray that as you have given these most sacred mysteries to be the safeguard of our salvation, so you may make them a healing remedy for us, both now and in time to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, this Mass is ended. We go in peace. Amen. Thanks be to God. And as my old friend, Father Tom Dorr, would say, be grateful for the day. <laughs>